Um, thank you for being with us here today to talk about what just happened in federal court. This guilty on all charges verdict has proven what Republicans have already known. We need real ethics reform. Our system has allowed back bad actors and political insiders to succeed at the expense of honest, hardworking Illinoisans. This must not continue. We have an opportunity to invoke change. For years, our caucus has put forth proposal after proposal to no avail. We hope the news today marks a distinct change in the ongoing chapters of corruption in Illinois politics. Every single Illinois lawmaker should be compelled to work with us on this, to prevent this embarrassment from continuing, to bring about honest, accountable, and trustworthy government. Ethics reform should be the General Assembly's top priority. How many indictments is too many? How many more court rulings do we need to make unethical behavior stop? We can't do this alone. We will always be ready to work, put ideas forward, and fight for what's right. To work toward a better state and an efficient, effective government that our Illinois families deserve. So I'm calling on our Democrat colleagues to work with us and to let's get this done before we adjourn. I would like to now introduce uh, Representative uh, Spain. I just realized I didn't introduce myself. So there you go. Thank you. Thank you, Leader McCombie, uh, for being here. Listen, today is a sad day for Illinois. And while I'm certainly glad that justice was served, today should be a reminder on the sad state of our politics in Illinois, a state that has persisted for far too long under the leadership of Mike Madigan and unfortunately continues forward today. Again, my name is State Representative Ryan Spain. I represent the 73rd District and serve as a deputy leader for the Illinois House of Representatives in the Republican Caucus. And one of the things that I've been very proud of in the years that I've served here in the legislature is that after the deferred prosecution agreement was revealed with the Department of Justice and Commonwealth Edison, I was one of three Republican House members that called for and convened a special investigating committee to examine the terrible deeds of Mike Madigan and his associates, the things that we've been seeing now play out in a federal courtroom in Chicago for the last seven weeks. We convened and launched an important investigation with substantive work asking for follow-up and investigation into these matters that we've heard about in detail in the prosecution and now the guilty verdicts that have been delivered today. What was the response from the Democratic legislators that participated in that investigating committee, cover up, and sweeping the facts under the rug. Members of that investigating committee now serve as the Speaker of the House, now serve as the chairperson of the Democratic Party of the state of Illinois. This is embarrassing. For too long, we have allowed the poor ethical behavior of people like Mike Madigan, his associates, and others to become the way we do business in the state of Illinois. And unfortunately, the Madigan way is still the way in which our government works here in Springfield. It has to stop now. As the leader said, how many more indictments? How many convictions? How many people have to go to prison before Democrats in the state of Illinois will get serious about rooting out the corruption that has drug our state down for far too long? We need to examine every inch of Mike Madigan's rules that are still the rules of business for how the House of Representatives works still to this day, even while he's gone and out of office. And we need meaningful engagement on ethics reforms that tackle many of the problems that you've seen on full display in the federal courthouse. And now I'll turn it over to our Republican floor leader, State Representative Patrick Windhorst. Thank you. 
I'm Patrick Windhorst, State Representative in the 117th District, which is all or parts of the southernmost uh, 10 counties of our state. Today's news of guilty verdicts in the case of the four former utility giant Commonwealth uh, Edison officials should serve as a wake-up call to all Illinoisans, especially Illinois Democrats, that hold supermajorities in both chambers of the legislature and every constitutional office statewide. The time for delay on ethics reform is over. The time to clean up our state government is now. The evidence has shown that the reign of Mike Madigan was an era of no-show jobs, quid pro quos, lobbying contracts in exchange for legislative action, and a corrupt pay-to-play culture. The ComEd officials that were swept up in Madigan's corruption were complicit in aiding and abetting an illegal decades-long hiring scheme, and now a jury of their peers has found them guilty of criminal behavior. The reign of Mike Madigan has left an indelible stain of corruption on this building. Madigan was aided along in his corruption by members of the private sector and members of the General Assembly, who for far too long refused to do anything about the obvious and blatantly corrupt way of doing business. Illinois' reputation for public corrupt corruption is sadly well earned, but our state's reputation is not beyond saving. It can be rebuilt. Let us delay no longer. House Republicans have long advocated for sweeping corruption and ethics reform. We believe legislators shouldn't be lobbyists. We believe in halting the revolving door. We believe in ending pay-to-play -pay poli pay -pay politics. We believe in public service over self-interest. We believe in empowering the legislative inspector general with subpoena powers so that the office may perform thorough corruption investigations, and root out bad behavior. These principles have guided our legislative agenda for years and are more important now than ever. We can make the changes that this moment requires. Let us get to work in the remaining days of this session to accomplish a victory for good government and a win for the citizens of Illinois. I encourage the House and Senate Democrats and Governor Pritzker to recognize and meet the magnitude of this moment and join House Republicans in passing meaningful, sweeping ethics reform so that we can stamp out corruption in Illinois for good.